Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5 with my Top 5 favorite, Bobby the Brain Heenan figures. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Kyle Peterson Top 5 and today we've got a special one. We've got one of my all-time favorite wrestlers, wrestling greats, wrestling managers, Bobby the Brain Heenan. As of course we all know Bobby the Brain Heenan really rose to prominence in everybody's mind in this WWF run, obviously in the 80s when I was a kid growing up watching wrestling. But a lot of people knew him even farther back than that. Uh, I'm grow I grew up in AWA territory, and my dad talks about his college days with his buddies watching wrestling and seeing Bobby the Brain Heenan and his buddies wanting to kill Bobby the Brain Heenan. Uh, just an amazing, amazing all-around performer in everything wrestling. Great on the commentary booth. Great wrestler. I mean, taking bumps, the weasel suit matches with Ultimate Warrior. Absolutely love that. Uh, but of course, a manager, and that's where we really liked him a ton as a manager. I don't know if he was a better manager or broadcaster. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Mondays have always been a part of my wrestling ritual as for as long as I can remember. And Bobby Heenan, Gorilla Monsoon, Primetime Wrestling, that was it for me. I was always excited Monday nights watching that. Uh, it was so cool. I always loved their interaction. I loved the Bobby the Brainy Heenan show that was on USA for a short time. I just love everything Bobby Heenan did, all the way through WCW as an announcer. Just something about his humor, his voice, his quick wit. Just had everything I wanted in wrestling. And most little kids really like the heroes out there, the good guys, the ultimate warriors of the world. I was no different. But Bobby Heenan had a special place for me from the word go. The first time I saw Bobby Heenan on commentary and stuff, I just absolutely loved it. Uh, and that's how good he was. Yes, you hated Bobby Heenan, you hated him and his guys' antics, all that stuff. But you just absolutely love to hear him talk. He was a great part of the show. And I'm glad he was a commentator. I'm glad he was on prime time as well as managing because you got so much more Bobby Heenan out of it. So big, big Bobby Heenan fan. I know it's debatable, but I'm going to say it right now. He is the greatest manager of all time. Uh, definitely one of my favorite commentators of all time. You really can't go wrong anything Bobby Heenan in professional wrestling, if you ask me. So... There you go, and that's why we're doing the top five here. And uh, you guys, as usual, this is my top five list. These are my top five favorite Bobby the Brain Heenan figures. Uh, over all the years of me collecting and everything else, I figured out my top five. You guys in the comments below, put your top five. And I always say it. I say, hey, here's the hard part. Put them in order. It's easy to list five figures, but you got to put them number one through five. Number one being your favorite, fifth being your you know least favorite of the five. Or do ten if you want to. But one through five, put it in the comments. But these are my top five favorite Bobby Heenan figures. All right, we kick it off with number five. And this is a bit of a forgotten Bobby Heenan figure in some circles out there. This isn't one that comes to your mind right away when you think Bobby Heenan figures. And this one really did go to deep, deep clearance at Target. And no, I'm not talking about the weasel suit Heenan, which go to about any Target in America right now. You can get him for as low as $5.99, sleeper price. But more on that a little bit later. Uh, but no, this is another Target exclusive Bobby the Brain Heenan, and it was part of a four-pack Heenan family four-pack. And this is Bobby Heenan right here in his white WrestleMania 3 get-up outfit, whatever you want to call it, white suit. Uh, a very cool figure, and now, like I said, a sleeper Bobby the Brain Heenan figure a lot of people do not think of, as it was part of that four-pack from Target that went to that deep clearance, like I said. Uh, but this one is great, especially if you bought that brand new Andre the Giant that came with a ring cart. There was a Macho Man Andre that came with a ring cart. Amazing display piece. Putting this figure with Andre in that display cart really caps all that off. So I definitely recommend doing that if you have not done that yet. Uh, but, you know, Bobby has had some really good figures over the years that we're going to get into here. But really, when you think about the vast... Uh, length of his career through you know AWA, WWE, WCW, even after that as you know a returning returning legends or legends contracted performer, we haven't got as many Bobby Heenan figures over the years as you would assume we would have. So the top five list, some of you guys probably saying is there even five Bobby Heenan figures? Well there is, of course, but these are the creme de la creme, as I say on the channel. So these are my top five. Um, and there's some some really bad ones, and we, we'll discuss some of those a, a little bit later as well. But 
As far as me, number five, when I put the pen into the paper and I went through my collection, this is the one that stuck out for me, number five. The Target exclusive Heenan Family Pack, Bobby Heenan from WrestleMania 3. All right, coming in at number four is probably no surprise. I have to think anybody that has a top five Bobby Heenan list has this figure on it. Is This one was so exciting when it came out. I know when it was announced, I was just, I can't wait. Nothing is more deserved to be in this line than this figure. And really, they really did knock it out of the park. Say what you want about Jax Pacific, but we're going Jax Classic Superstars Series 6. Bobby the Brain Heenan. And I always say when you close your eyes and you picture a character, be it a wrestler or whatever, what is one you think of? What is the one you most think of? And nine times out of ten, when I do think of Bobby Heenan, I kind of think of this outfit. This always kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, his manager, commentator career, kind of the thick of things in the WWF back in the day. And I think they nailed this one very well uh, for Jack's Class Superstars. And this one is, you know, Black Tux. I believe he's got, uh, yep headphones and uh, a microphone as well very fitting for broadcaster bobby heenan i just absolutely love this you got the bh engraved on there on his shirt coat pocket whatever you want to call it with the red handkerchief as we do have a loose version of this this one's so nice i had to have a loose one you guys know how i do it with some of these jacks class superstars uh, they nailed this one you look at this that's bobby heenan you look in the face i love that he's got the four horsemen figures which is very interesting um, he didn't quite manage the Horseman, but we know he managed Tully and Arn and Ric Flair in the WWE, WWF, of course. But I love the Starry Night kind of. I mean, I always uh, think of the splatter paint on here to kind of be stars in his outfit. You know, he's from Hollywood, California, all that kind of stuff. And this really is the best retail release Jax Classic Superstar Bobby Heenan. We know we got other Bobby Heenans in the Jax uh, lineup in the two-pack, three-pack series, or actually three-pack series, I should say. Uh, and Tupac, I guess. Yeah, we did get him with uh, Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. And uh, we got him with uh, Tully and Arn as well. The And then we got him with Mr. Perfect and Ric Flair. Those are the three, th three, two three-packs and one two-pack. Easy for me to say that we got in the Jax Class Superstars release of Bobby Heenan. Those, unfortunately, did not make the list as they made Bobby way too big, way too fat, honestly, in those figures. So they really missed the mark on those, if you ask me. Uh, that one with Tully and Arn looks more like J.J. Dillon than Bobby Heenan to me. And I always would say if I was playing as a kid, I would use that as J.J. Dillon. But Series 6, Jack's Class Superstars, they nailed it. They got it totally right. Uh, I love this one. This is a very, very solid Bobby the Brain and Heenan figure. And if you don't have a Mattel Bobby Heenans, you can easily smoke and mirror this one in with your Mattels as well. Maybe a hair tall, but I think it works. Uh, I just love this Bobby Heenan. That's why he is number 4 on my list. All right, we're about halfway through. Do you got your list? Are you ready to go? Well, we're at number three. And number three quite possibly could be the best Mattel Elite Manager figure of all time. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Toys R Us Fan Central exclusive Bobby the Brain Heenan. Of course, I got that right here. Loose, as you guys know, I have a complete loose Mattel Elite collection. I have this one loose. Don't have it on card, but I got it loose. But a fabulous Bobby the Brain Heenan figure. I will say some people have had staining from the jacket. I'm lucky. I just checked this before we filmed. Uh, no staining on mine, so I, I guess I'm quite lucky here. But this is very reminiscent of the Jax Class Superstars Series 6 figure, but updated into the Mattel Elite line. Soft goods jacket is really nice. Has the sparkle kind of suede to it a little bit. You get from the below the waist, you got the black manager, you know, pants, I guess you would call it. We've seen them many a times with other Build-A-Figures and stuff. But a fabulous Bobby the Brain Heenan jacket. You got kind of that Hollywood jacket on the back with the star, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the Bobby Heenan head scan, you know it's exactly Bobby Heenan when you see it. You got the BH on him. And like I said, this was a Toys R Us exclusive back in the day, the Fan Central. I believe it was very similar to the Fan Takeover days, if my memory serves me right. You could vote, but I can't remember where you voted at. Was it on WWE.com or WWE Magazine or something? But you could vote who you wanted in the Fan Central. Uh, you know, kind of fan takeover before fan takeover lineup out there. And there was some strong ones there. A very awesome Big Show, a very awesome Mark Henry. If you guys watched my top five Big Show video, that actually was my number one Big Show figure, that Fan Central one. So a very strong lineup with the Bobby Heenan as well. He does look kind of weird with no shirt on under the jacket. I guess that's my only real gripe with this one. I feel like he should have something, but, you know, that's just what the way they went. And they saved some money and all that kind of fun stuff, but... Very awesome, and the number one Mattel Bobby Heenan figure, if you ask me. And that is why he came in at number three on my Bobby Heenan countdown. All right, we're getting down to the end, and at number two is the rarest Bobby the Brain Heenan figure of all time. 
Any, any guesses? Any of you guys know what that would be? I'm sure you guys do. It's one of my favorites. I picked this up maybe a year and a half, two years ago. What is time anymore? I don't know. But it is the Toy Fair 1 of 100, 2006 Toy Fair, I should mention. 1 of 100, Bobby the Brain Heenan figure. Now, this figure, I talked about it. We did a deep dive review of the 1 of 100 series and stuff like that uh, on my Jack's Classic Superstars video. But this 1 of 100 absolutely broke my heart. And I would always cringe when toy fairs would come up. As you guys know, I've talked about it on the channel before as well. Uh, when I was collecting the Class Superstars line as they came out, I was in college, just getting out of college. Obviously, you're a poor college kid, poor out of college kid. You don't have a lot of money for figures. But, you know, I worked two jobs. I scraped my money together to be able to buy the Classic Superstars line. That was really the only line I was collecting at the time. Uh, I still have all those to this day. I know a lot of people say, how did you afford all those Classic Superstars? Well, I bought them when they were $12 each at my local Toys R Us and Kmart and Venture and Target and Walmarts. Uh, and that's how I did it. But I remember when this was announced, like a lot of other Toy Fair ones, it was always just a knife in the heart because I said, well, these are more figures I'll never be able to get. And uh, in the in the aspect of like the Terry Funk, one of the greatest Terry Funk figures ever, I was like, oh, I need that. I, ah, I just hate it. I do have it all these years later, which is great. Very similar to this Bobby the Brain Heenan. This, this weasel suit Bobby Heenan is so iconic, especially in AWA country. I mentioned AWA earlier. I'm from the AWA country. A lot of people in my circles and stuff remember his weasel suit matches with Greg Gagne. Of course, for me, I remember his weasel suit matches with uh, the Ultimate Warrior. That's what I think of the weasel suit. But this is, has a lot of history to it. Obviously, Bobby, Bobby the Weasel Heenan, you know, people called him Weasel all the time. Just an amazing representation of the Weasel outfit in the Classic Superstars line. Just one of those things you say, oh, this should be in the regular line. This is so cool with the soft goods and everything else. Unfortunately, 1 of 100 was the only way to get this. And I did, actually, I think I said I got this like a year and a half ago. I got this like a couple months ago. What am I saying? I, I, I can't figure time out anymore. It's apparent. It's apparent. But I just got this recently, and it was on sale, and I got it at a really good price. It's, most of the 1 of 100s are, you know, right around a $1,000 range, and I got this one a lot cheaper than that. So I was very happy. Uh, Bobby Heenan, like I said, my favorite manager of all time. I do have a few of these 1 of 100s, the Roddy Piper, the Terry Funk, the Roddy Piper Classic. I got the Ray Mysterio. Basically, the rule is got to get a deal, and this is one I definitely knew I needed to have. And this does turn tables back to Mattel, as we talked about it earlier as well. Classic Superstars version here, but there's also a Target exclusive Mattel Elite Legends Edition version of this. This one smokes that figure, and that's disappointing because Mattel obviously is current. This is uh, this came out in what I don't know, ten years ago or no, more than that, fifteen years ago. Let's say 2006, 2000. It's right on the front, Kyle. Why don't you read? Uh, 2006. So this came out, yeah, roughly 15 years ago this came out. Now, there should have been a lot of improvements in wrestling figures, and there definitely has between all lines. But this weasel suit costume with the, the fingers and all that, the claws, I guess you would say, looks so much better on this one. And there, it looks like uh, Bobby Heenan is just in a, his nighttime uh, sleeping bag jumpy uh, jumper. What do, what do you call those things that little kids wear? I don't know. That's what he looks like he's in. He's in a Snuggie. He's in his Snuggie, we'll call it. This looks like the weasel suit. It's the great Bobby Heenan face sculpt of the other one we saw. Just phenomenal. I absolutely love this one. Of course, it being a 1 100. Also autographed, certified, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the majority of these 1 100s are usually autographed, as maybe you guys know out there, just because he was at the event. He would sign them for people that got them and stuff like that, which makes sense. But that's why I like this one so much. That's why this one is at number two on my Bobby Heenan countdown. All right, the time has come. We're at the number one spot. You guys got your list? Put them down in the comments. One through five, Bobby Heenan, of course. Uh, but the number one spot, if you take a step back and you think about it, what could be number one for Kyle? What haven't we seen yet that would most likely be in the number one spot? It's probably pretty easy. And at number one for me of my favorite Bobby the Brain Heenan figures of all time, number one is the LJN Bobby Heenan. Say what you will. I know some people hate the LJN figures. Some people, they're their favorite. I'm somewhere in the middle, more towards the top, as I grew up with the LJNs. These were my first wrestling figures, and I've told the stories in the past that LJN figures, I'd always buy the wrestlers, the managers, the referees, stuff like that. I would only buy if I had all the wrestlers in the store or that's all they had. That was when I got those managers and stuff. 
However, Bobby the Brain Heenan was something totally different. I had to have Bobby the Brain Heenan. I loved to bump him around, and he would get involved in matches and you know dive around like he did in the WWF. Hulk Hogan would be throwing him around. Ultimate Warrior would be throwing him around. I had to have him represented in my collection. And I did have a lot of the other managers, but Bobby Heenan was one that I would buy over a wrestler. And I can't say that about any of the other managers, uh, officials, announcers in the set. Even though I did come up with some of them, Bobby is one I would buy over certain wrestlers. Just iconic, his blue sweatshirt with his black trim on the top, uh, the Bobby Heenan on the shirt. I will say there is a variant on this one. Is uh, This one does not have the scrolls. It's kind of the loopy loop scrolls on his shirt. Uh, growing up as a kid, I had the one with the scrolls, and I never knew any different. I never knew there was another one outside of the scroll one. And it's one of those things you find out many years later when you're finally on the internet and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but this Bobby Heenan is one I would need to replace in my collection. Is For the most part, I have a very minty, minty LJN collection. Uh, but this Bobby Heenan, for whatever reason, is about the worst one, especially on the back. I got a little, little action there that uh, drives me absolutely crazy. So I do need to replace this one. However, as some of you guys know, I do have a mint on card LJN Bobby the Brain Heenan autographed as well. Certified, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and this Bobby Heenan actually does have the scrolls, which is very interesting. So I truly do have both versions, one in the box, obviously, and one without. But I would love to upgrade this one one day. Not super high on my priority list, but I'll get to it eventually. Uh, as you guys know, I won this in one of those online raffles. I never do raffles. I am not a gambler. Uh, I just I work too hard for my money. I don't like to give it to chance and just feel like I'm throwing it away. But it was my birthday a few years ago, and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy two spots in this raffle. Uh, there was two things being given away. The other one, of course, was the Sergeant Slaughter Hasbro LJN and this. And for some reason, probably because of my birthday luck, I ended up winning both of them. I won the Slaughter and I won the Bobby Heenan. How awesome was that? What a mail day that was. Was two figures I figured I'd never have. I mean, I wouldn't really look for this Bobby Heenan. As you guys know, I'm not a big, I don't collect LJNs on card. I'm not a big autograph guy. But you know what? For 20 bucks for two $10 spots, I'll take this and especially that Slaughter all day long. I was already justifying that LJN Slaughter saying, it's not a true LJN. I don't have to have it to be a completist. Well, getting it for $10, oh yeah, it definitely counts if I got it now. Funny how the rules change. But this Bobby Heenan is so iconic to me as a childhood. Uh, so many fun times playing with these figures over the years. And this Bobby just screams one of my favorite LJNs. Very possibly could be in my top five LJNs of all time. And we'll do that list on the channel one of these days. Uh, my top five LJNs. But this Bobby was just next level. And a manager you had to have. I remember being very disappointed he never did get a Hasbro figure. That would have been really awesome to have a Hasbro of some of these managers. Especially Bobby Heenan. Just wasn't in the cards until Jax came along, and we talked about the Jax ones as well. But this is the number one for me, the LJN Bobby Heenan. Uh, very proud to own this one and a big fan of this one, as you can imagine. That's why it's number one. But you guys in the comments, like I've been saying, give me your one through five Bobby Heenans. Tell me your biggest Bobby Heenan memories out there. What is your favorite thing Bobby Heenan ever did? There were so many great things over the years. And definitely deserved a top five countdown. And you guys know we're going to get to everybody eventually. A lot of people are, you know, do John Cena, do The Rock, and definitely will be doing those. Like I said, once we hit milestone uh, followers on the YouTube channel, and maybe we'll we'll just figure it out. But once we get to 9,000, we're going to do a top 10 Hulk Hogan. We're going to do a special top 10 list. 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do the Ultimate Warrior top 10. Got to do that one for 10,000. Maybe 11,000, we do The Rock. Maybe 12,000, it's Rey Mysterio. We'll see how it goes. But believe you me, there's a million wrestlers out there. We'll get to all of them that have over five figures at least. And we'll do other lines too. So every Thursday on the channel, expect a brand new top five list. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course, and hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss one of these top five lists. Uh, like the video you made it this far. You might as well give it a like. Subscribe to the channel, as you guys know. Uh, we keep growing every single day. And then, of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And, of course, Pro Wrestling Tees search Kyle Peterson get your very own t-shirt I'm wearing it right here be the most fashionable guy or gal in your neighborhood pick up your own, very own see you later t-shirt uh, pro wrestling tees search Kyle Peterson support the channel as they always say or I always say but there it is for the top five Bobby Heenan figures I'm Kyle see you guys all real soon